ইনক্রিজালে السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ برادر سسٹرز ونس اگین وی تھینک اللہ سبحان و تعالی فار میکنگ اٹ پاسبل فار اس ٹو فنش بک ٹو اٹ واز ہز گریس اینڈ مرسی وچ کیپٹ اس گوئنگ ان اسپائٹ آف آل دا ویدر پرابلمس دیٹ وی ہیو انکاؤنٹرڈ لیٹلی Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala immensely for His kindness and His mercy. And you should all be congratulated, uh, heartfully, for, you know, coming regularly, working hard, and, and understanding Book 2 in a very, very nice way, inshallah. And it will pave way for Book 3 for us. Uh. But now, before we start Book 3, I always feel this is very important that we do some little bit of study on <coughs> derived verbs. Uh, we call it fellow philosophy, mazid fihi, you know. From three letter verbs, other verbs are derived. So these are the derived form of three letter verbs. If we study this little bit, not too much, because we cannot go in too much detail, then it will become very dry for you. Uh, little bit. And it will strengthen us in our verbs, conjugation of the verbs. So <clears throat> we start today, brothers and sisters. I will uh, <clears throat> be doing something like this today. 
these are supposed to be equal, but now I am not an artist. <laughs> so it's called form two. Huh? Form two. Huh? Also, we call it Bab Taf Ilun. This is something I'll be explaining to you, brothers and sisters. Okay, Bab Taf Ilun. Okay, and you have to remember one thing, brother. Sama Iyun and you will remember these two terms, brothers and sisters. <coughs> now, fa'ala, which is the root of the verb. It is a pattern which the scholars have given to the root of any verb. It is divided into three letters, fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. We say first radical, second radical, and third radical. The city authority has given permission to fa'ala to build a house with three rooms only. Every radical occupies one room. Okay? So they have three rooms which the city has permitted to build. You know, we got to get city permit before we build the house. Now, in Arabic language, which is the most beautiful thing, brothers and sisters, that when you want a different shade of meaning, you go to the root and add something. Instead of creating an altogether new verb, you create from the root. This is, this is an amazing thing about Arabic language, brother. I know a little bit of Urdu and Gujarati and Kachi and, you know, we know English. But these things are not there in those languages, you know. But in <coughs> Arabic it is amazing. Brother. Normally, <coughs> fa'ala, we call it form one. Huh? Form fa'ala, we say form one. You know? Or you can say base form. <clears throat> now they decide to extend the house but the city cannot give permission the city has given permission for only three rooms now they want to extend it so city says okay make a small room okay no more okay so then we make a small room now Okay, we make a small room huh? and we give to Ain Kalima. Okay, so what is now happened? What is the verb now? Fa'ala. Huh? Fa'ala. Huh? So it became like this, brother and sister. Fa'ala. Fa. Small room for Ain, huh? which became. <clears throat> the study of Fa'ala comes in lesson 16. In that lesson we go in detail. But right now we'll just explore it from the surface. <clears throat> Fa'ala. So whenever you'll see a Shadda on Ain Kalima, huh? remember Ain Kalima the possibility will exist that it is from form 2. We call it form 2. Okay, brothers and sisters. Also, it's called Bab Tafail. Now, this is, you will find it in the books written in the Indian Pakistan subcontinent. Uh, especially the grammar, Arabic grammar books written in Urdu, you will find this terminology. When I was studying in Lahore, I came across this. First, it said, I know form two. Why should I remember Bab Tafail? You know, I know form two. But then later on, I realized, you know, in order to understand things in a nice way, it's also 
important that we should call it Bab Tafail. Huh? So I will be asking you and telling you form two as well as Bab Tafail. Because that Tafail thing will make things very clear, inshallah, and will make you very strong. Huh? Okay. What is Tafail, brother? Tafail is the pattern of the master that you derived from form two. It is the pattern of the master. And I thought, you know, this is nice. Okay. So all the forms that will be doing it, we will be calling it form two, form three, form four. But at the same time, I would urge you to memorize the pattern of the uh, different forms. Now, why so important about this pattern, brother? Okay. Fail Sulasi Mujarrat, you know? The pure three letter verbs, brother. Okay? Which we call it base form or first form, brother. How do we make master? Are there any rules, regulations? No. There are about 40 patterns of master from Fail Sulasi Mujarrat. But this is too much. I want to go home now. I can't study 40 patterns. But then, you know, you, you do get gabrified. That is too much. How we are going to memorize it and remember it. But Dr. Abdurrahim always says, you know, do not sit down and memorize it. As they come in front of you, you remember it. Okay? For example, brother, Sajada Yasjudu Sujud. So it is Pu'ul. Huh? Okay? And that's one pattern. Huh? And then Nasara Yansuru Nasrun Falun, see? Zahaba Yadhabu Zahabun Zahabun Falun Like that. Are you with me, brother? So these are the patterns. They are called Samai. What are they called? Samai. As people heard other, other, other groups speaking, these different forms of pattern and they incorporated in their vocabulary and language. Now I am in my, you know, uh, thoughts, I always say, okay, Arabia, you know, at the time of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or before, it was all small, small tribes staying in certain areas, you know. There was no form of government as we know it, you know. Okay, the city of Makkah and Yathrib, Medina, huh? okay, they were more organized, but otherwise people were in small groups scattered all over the desert. Wherever there was a water and pasture, they would settle down. And when the water finished, they would move and find different areas where they can have facilities for their themselves and for their animals, brothers and sisters. So, they were scattered, and they had different uh, uh, masters they created without any rules and regulation. So this is called uh, Samai, uh, as they heard it. That's why, brothers and sisters, Fial Fulasi Mujarat is very difficult. And truly speaking, it is difficult, complex, and you have already mastered it. Uh, you have mastered the most difficult part of the verb, and the rest of it is all easy. You know why? In Fel Fulasi, we had six forms. How many forms in uh, form two? Just one. Okay? And everything is fixed. Uh, the master from form two is called Kiyasiyun. Means it has a fixed pattern, brother. You don't have to worry. And what is that pattern? Tafailun. And it is so beautiful and easy, and most of you already know it. When you will uh, see it being a master being made, it is going to surprise you, brother. So we will, inshallah, try to remember Bab Tafail. Huh? And remember with the Samai. And kiyasi. How do you mean? Kiyasi means it has got a measured pattern. Samai, as people heard it from each other, 
and they started using it. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, fa'ala. How many letters now in the word? Four. So the alamatu mudariya, which was normally fata, will get dhamma. Another thing to remember. Okay. So fa'ala. Okay. I, I give here now a pattern, brothers and sisters. Allama. What is the root? It is coming from Alima. Huh? Allama. Now we make it into Mudariya. First it will be you, and then again a, uh, and then the Ain Kalima gets a Kasra. Are you with me? Allama. You alimu. Are you with me? Alima is to know. Allama is to to teach. Okay. Brothers and sisters, now we come to Amar. How do I make Amar? What is our normal procedure? One chop. Do I need Hamza? No, I can pronounce. Huh? Huh? And so, what will be the Amar, brother? Alim. Hmm? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Now, we make a some file. How do I make a some file? Just remove that U and put Mu. Mu'allim. Huh? So it's very easy. Whenever you see a noun with a mu, you will immediately try to figure out. And it will be possible for you to figure out how it came into you know, existence. Brother. So here it is. Mu al li mu. Now by changing this kasra into fata, I get ism maful. Huh? Ism maful, brother. It will become mu'al la mun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, <coughs> you can also make from this uh, ismu makan and ismu zaman, huh? which is on the pattern of ismu maful. Huh? Inshallah, we'll be practicing it. So I'm not going in too much detail, brothers and sisters, but we'll be practicing it. Okay? Now, let us do one more. Kabbala, huh? <clears throat> which is coming from? This is, the root is Kaf, Ba, and Lam. But the verb that we use in fail falasi is qabila, uh, to accept. Kabbala, uh, to kiss. Okay? And then, brother, what will be here? You kabbilu. Uh, and what will be the amar? And what will be here? The person who kisses. The person who receives the kiss will be called? See how the Tasra and Fatah changed it. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> Brother, I forgot to tell you about the master. I should have done it right away, but doesn't matter. What is the master of Allama? It's going to... Where are we? Talimul Islam. Teaching. Teaching of Islam. So brother, remember the pattern of the master, brother and sister? Tafailun. What is extra in the root? Ta and ya. Ta with a fata, 
ان يابته سكون ها يابته سكون so it will be you take the root and it will become ta li mun now remember in the grammar books they always make the master and make it mansub so you will find it is ta'liman but for us ta'liman is also good enough okay and what will be the master of hmm? takbirun huh? kissing huh? tak be lun are you with me brothers and sisters fine I write a couple of more words. Uh, sabaha. It comes from Sabaha. What will be the mudariya, brother? You sabbihu. You sabbi. What will be the Amar? Sabbih. It comes in the Quran all the time. Huh? Sabbih. And then, Musabbi. Hun. Musabbi. Hun. Now we have to understand that we are following certain rules in conjugation sometimes the verb may not be used in that way but for doing something methodologically and systematically we can conjugate fine and then musab ba okay what about the i knew tasbi from my childhood tasbi why do you use tasbi to glorify Allah? Huh? Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Okay. And talking about Subhanallah, now we will learn Subhanallah in this inshallah. <clears throat> so it is, brothers and sisters, tas bi hun or tasbi han. Are you with me, brother? One more. Huh? Ballaga. Ballaga. Mudaria. You balligu. Huh? You balligu. Huh? Amar. Ballig. See, it is so easy. Very easy, brother. Ballig. Uh, and what will be here? Muballig. Uh, and then here it will be? Muballag. Uh, did you say Tablik Jamaat? And then, brother, <clears throat> Salama. You salimu. You salimu. And then salim.
Salim. Then, Bala, Musallimun. Musallimun. And then it can be Musallamun. Maybe it is not used, brother. Musall. As I said, some of them may not be used, brother. But we can form according to the method. Uh, and then what will come here, brother? Taslim. Huh? See, we know Taslim, we heard it. Every day we say, you know, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi ya ayyuhalladzina amunu Sallu alayhi. Sallimu tasli man. Okay, brothers and sisters. I'll write down here. Taslimu. You got an idea, brother? Okay, let us take the sheet. Hmm? Now let us start from the beginning, brother. Allama, Allama, Allamu, Allamat, Allamata, Allamna. Allamta, Allamtuma, Allamtum, Allamti, Allamtuma, Allamtunna, Allamtu, Allamna. Huh? Now this we can understand and do it very easily. Mudariya brother. Yuallimu, yuallimani, yuallimuna, tuallimu, tuallimani, yuallimna, yuallimna. Are you with me brother? I request you to... Say it with me, all of you. Uh, it will make you strong. Okay? Uh, and it will make you think. Hunna you alimna. Hunna you alimna. And then, brother, Anta tu alimu, tu alimani, tu alimuna, tu alimina, tu alimani, tu alimna, tu alimu, nu alimu. And, brother, about the Amar, Allim, Allima, Allimu, Allimi, Allima, Allimna. Huh? Now, brother, you have to practice. You make practice, especially if the verb is nakis or has a different ajwaf. That, if you make practice, you will become very strong. Okay? And then from here, we get Mu'allim. Is some file, and what is our master? Ta'aleem. On the pattern of Tafailun. So we have to register this pattern in our mind. If you re- register this and call this Bab Tafail, Bab Tafail, brother, you will never forget. And every time you come across this kind of a pattern in the Quran, you know it is the master from Bab. Tafail, form two. You will be able to know. Okay, brother? Okay. Sawwara. Sawwara. Huh? All the meanings are given there. Huh? You sawwil. Huh? To photograph. Huh? Okay. Paint a picture or something. Okay. Brother and sister? Sawwara. Sawwara. Sawwaru. Sawwarat. Sawarata, sawarna, sawarna. Very good. Sawarta. Then it's easy, brother. Inshallah. Ta tumatum, ti tumatunna, tu na. Yusaviru. Yusavirani. Yusaviruna. Tu saviru. Tu savirani. Yusavirna. Yusavirna. Anta. Tu saviru. Tu savirani. Tu saviruna. To savirina, to savirani, to savirna, usaviru, nusaviru. Got the idea? And then, Amar, brother? Savvir. Savvir. Huh? And we know it, huh? Okay, brother, Isam file. 
have you, have you heard this Musabir somewhere? Who will Khalik will Bari will Musabir. Brother, now, as soon as you hear, brother, Khalik, I know Khalaka Yakhluku wa huwa Khalik. And then, brother, Khalik and then Makhluk. It's a Mafur. Huh? And then we have Bariu, it is also has the same Bara'a from that Bariu. And then now we have Musaviru. Mu. Huh? And now, what is it? Musaviru or Musawaru? If it is Musawwiru, it is Isam Fahil. If it is Musawwaru, it is Isam Mafur. Fine. And brother, make a... What did I say? Did you say Tasweer? Huh? Tasweer banata hu. Now brother, all these are Arabic, brother. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sister? So, here we know these words... But we never knew what they were, huh? how they were made. Now, today, you can know exactly how it was made. Huh? That it is, the root is Savara. Are you with me? The root is Savara. And when you say Tasweer, Tafail, it is the Masdar from Savara. Immediately, you know, your computer will start calculating. Are you with me? So, Tasvir, here is the master from Savara. So, anytime you will see anything coming on this pattern, you know, it will be like this, you know. <coughs> so, <coughs> Alhamdulillah, you are going to love this, brother. Okay. Next one is, brother, Vaddaha, to clarify something. Huh? Okay? Vaddaha, Vaddaha, Vaddahu, Vaddahat, Vaddahata, Vaddahna, Vaddahta, Vaddahtuma. Right. Vaddahtu, I clarified. Vaddahna, we clarified. Fine. And Mudariya, brother? You Vaddihu, you Vaddihani, you Vaddihuna. To waddihu, to waddihani, you waddihna, you waddihna. And inshallah you'll be able to do it. Amar, huh? waddih. See, easy. Waddih. Huh? You don't have to think, shall I put a Hamza, bring Hamza, or then give a kasra to Hamza, or Dhamma to Hamza. No, no, no. It's very simple. And Isam file, muwaddih. Isam maful, thing which has been clarified. Muadda, see? Huh? Okay, and then master, tahdi, tahdi. Huh? Alhamdulillah, but what can be more beautiful than this? It's so easy, so scientific, so logical, huh? like mathematics. But fine. Ballaga, 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 ballagu, ballagat, ballagata. Balagna and then we follow. You balligu, you balligani, you balliguna, to balligu, to balligani, you balligna. Amar ballig also comes in the Quran. Huh? Huh? And then, brother and sister, Isam Fayyad, Muballig. Isam Maful, Muballa. Now remember, Ismu Makan and Ismu Zaman is made on the pattern of, on the pattern of Isam Maful. Inshallah, we'll come to that very soon. Master, Tabali, Bab Tafail, Tabali, okay, brother. Sabbaha, okay. You sabbihu, you sabbihani, you sabbihuna, to sabbihu, to sabbihani, you sabbihna, you sabbihna. Anta, to sabbihu, to sabbihani, to sabbihuna. Usabbihina, tusabbihani, tusabbihna, usabbihu, nusabbihu. These will all come in the Quran. Amar, sabbih, sabbiha, sabbihu. It comes in the Quran. Sabbihi, sabbiha, sabbihna. Okay? And then, musabbihu, musabbahu. And then, tasbih. Brothers and sisters, it's all in the Quran. See? Uh, Suratul Ayla. How does it start? 
سبح اسم رب کل آلا واٹ از دس بردر رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم گاٹ دس ریولیشن سو اٹ واز ٹو ہیم دیٹ دا امر کیم گلوریفائی یور لارڈ دا ہائی آر یو وت می ناٹ ٹو ڈے وین یو ریڈ دا قرآن بردر ریولیشن از کمنگ ٹو یو اللہ از ناؤ ریویلنگ دا ورسز ٹو یو سو ہو گیٹس دا ریولیشن دا ون ہو ریڈس سب اٹ از ٹو می دیٹ اللہ از آسکنگ می دیٹ از دا ونڈر آف قرآن بردر دیٹ دا قرآن از آلویز فریش اٹس پرپیچوئل ڈزن گیٹ اولڈ And it will remain fresh and everlasting till the end of time, brother and sister. I would uh, recommend you to read a book called Way to Quran by Khuram Rad. It's only for two dollars. Brother, if you read this book, sisters, you'll love it, brother. Uh, and this is where he, said, he says that, you know, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam received the revelation and he passed on to us. Okay, but when you read the Quran, now the revelation is coming to you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huh? Now you are receiving the revelation from Allah. That is the feeling we will feel in our heart. Because Allah is speaking to us, always in second person. Now instead of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you are reading it and you are receiving the revelation. Those are the feelings we must create in our heart when we read Quran. That Allah is talking to us now. Huh? So, if you get a chance, do read this book, brothers and sisters. Haddasa. Huh? You haddithu. Haddasa. Haddasa. Haddathu. Haddathat. Haddathata. Haddathna. Fine. You haddithu and we can do it, brothers and sisters. And Amar. Haddith. Does it come in the Quran? Yes. Huh? Alam yajidka yatiman fa'ama wa wajadaka dalan fa'hada wa wajadaka a'ilan fa'agna fa'amma al-yatima fa'la taqa fa'amma al-sa'ila fa'la taqa Now Allah is talking to you, brother. He's addressing you. It is in second person, brother. And then Allah says, Amma bi ni'amati rabbika fa'addis. See, here it is. And when you will read this, you will understand Quran in its original matan. No translation. I know what the word means and I know it in Arabic. And I know how these verbs were created. They were formed. So, you know, your understanding will be directly straight from the Quran. Huh? Straight from the Quran. And it will... make you test the beauty and eloquence of the Qur'an, which is a miracle in itself. Okay, well, and sisters. Now I go to Nazala. Are you with me, brother? Nazala. Nazala. Nazalu. Nazalat. Nazalata. Nazalna. Nazalta. Nazaltuma. Nazaltum. Nazalti. Nazaltuma. Nazaltunna. Nazaltu, nazalna. Mashallah. Yunazilu. It comes all the time. Yunazilu, yunazilani, yunaziluna. Tunazilu, tunazilani, yunazilna. Then, anta, tunazilu, tunazilani, tunaziluna, tunazilina, tunazilani, tunazilna. Unazilu, unazilu. What is the Amr? Nazil. And brother, what is the Islam file? Munazil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what is the thing which was brought down? Munazil. Oh brother, tell me the master. What did you say? Now once you know Tanzil, sister Menas, you don't have to translate. Because you know exactly what Tanzil means, where it came from. Huh? So our understanding will be direct 
from the Quran. Tanzeel. And you know it is a master. Tafail. And what is the verb? It is Nazala. And what is the root? Huh? Nazala. Huh? It is the root, Nazala. Yanzilu. Then from Nazala, Inshallah. Now you'll be looking to the wonders of the Arabic language. Right? In this uh, uh, thing that we are doing, you'll see the wonders of Arabic, brother. Azana. Huh? He called the prayer. Azana. Huh? You azinu. Azin. If you say azin to somebody, means make a call for the prayer. Give a azan. Huh? And make it a some file. Ah, uh, he's a Muslim. But today you know, Mu Azin. Okay, it is a sim file. It's coming from Azana. Everything you will know. Brother. You will know everything. Fine, brothers and sisters. I did this too, and I left, brother, the two to do it again. Now comes Nakis. Now, if you are strong in Nakis, then this is Halwa Puri. If you are not strong in Nakis, then these are hard chickpeas. And you have to chew longer, brother. <laughs> okay? Are you with me, brother? This is very beautiful. Huh? Maybe I should rub a couple of these things, brother. Brother? Some... Uh, Huh? What will be the mudariya? You sammi. You sammi. Amar. That's all. Huh? And then, is some file. Is some mafool. This is how will you write down. Hmm? And then, now here, there is a slight change. Huh? The wasn was tafailun. But if the verb is makis, or if the verb ends with hamza, huh? Then the pattern changes to Are you with me, brother? This is the pattern for Lakis or the verb ending in Hamza. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Now remember one thing. All these things we are going to study in detail. In lesson number 16. I'm only helping you to know it on the surface. Huh? I'm taking you on a little, little tour of these verbs. Huh? And the next one I will write down, brother. Salla. Amar, uh, mudariya, brother. You salli. And then salli. How many times you say? Do you never know? You never knew. You never knew what it was. Okay? And then what will be here? Musallin. Musallin. Okay? And then what will be here? Musallan. Like that. And what will be the master, brother? Tas liya tun. Huh? On the pattern of Tafa ila tun. Huh? Okay, well, now. No. Tafa ila tun. No selling. Tafa ila tun. It is part of the root. It is part of the root. See? Do you see ya here? What is the root? Huh? Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? So this is 
a slight change. Okay, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> now let us use our knowledge of nakis here and see can we do it, brother? When you see nakis verbs in these derived forms, I request you to conjugate. You conjugate and you'll become very strong, brother. And day by day you'll become stronger and your knowledge will increase, brother. And when you will read the Quran, all these things will come in front of you. Okay, brothers and sisters, some... Uh, let us conjugate. Some... Uh, some... Uh, yeah. And then... Some... 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 Uh, see, this is... You have to use your knowledge. Okay. Masha... Mashaya, Mashau, Mashau, Jara, Jaraya, Jarau, Rama, Ramaya, Ramau. Are you with me, brother and sister? Samma, Sammaya, Sammau, Sammat, Sammata, Sammaina. Huh? Then when you come to Mutaharik pronoun, the root opens, you know. And the ya became reasonable, visible. Sammaina, sammaita, sammaituma. And then you can carry on. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now let us do the mudarya. Huh? See, nakas undergo many changes. And we've got to be strong to figure out, okay? You sammi. Uh, you sum me. How will I de define you sum me? Fe'alun, mudaryun, marfun bi. Dhammatil Mukaddara. Huh? Yeah, okay. And then, Yusammi, Yusammi Yani, Yusammuna. Are you with me? Yamshi, Yamshi Yani, Yamshuna. Yashtari, Yashtari Yani, Yashtaruna. Okay, are you with me? Remember Nakis, brother. Huh? And then, brothers and sisters, we say, you some me, you some me yani, you some moon. Huh? And then, to some me, to some me yani, you some me na. All you did was put a noon. The food was ready for you. Huh? You just put the noon and you pronounce. Huh? Because Motaharik pronoun came and the Lam Kalima got a sukun. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, you some me na. Anta, to some me, to some miyani, to some muna, to some mina, ready. Huh? Then to some miyani, and to some mina, and then usammi, nusammi. Got the idea? Amar. How do we make Amar, Padre Hassan? Now here, chop, chop. Huh? Okay, one chop here, one chop here. What is left now? Sammi. Fellow Amrin. Mabniun Allah. Adhafi. Harfi. Illa. See, brother, you will become expert now in all these things, inshallah. Huh? And then, Sammi. Then you will say, Sammi ya. And what will be? Antum. Sammu. Only Sammu. Huh? You will say Sammu because it is Sammu na. You some moon, huh? you just say some moon. Huh? Fine, brother. And then, uh, Musam Min. Why Musam Min, brother? Remember, I told you, I'll repeat just briefly, brother. This is where I indicated to you that how do you make Isam file from Nakis verb, brother and sisters? Masha huh? Yamshi Mashin. Kada Yakadi. Kadin. Actually, it is Mashi Yun. Kadi Yun. Okay, look at this, brother. Uh, because this is what we are going to do in detail in the first lesson of Book 3. And truly speaking, brother, even when I saw the Book 3 for the first time, I was totally gamified. I said, Ya Allah, how are we going to study this? Each page has so many different things. But when you study slowly, slowly, brothers and sisters, what happens? You fall in love with book three. 
because it is so beautiful. And this is where most of the students get gabrified. Huh? It's a mankus. What is it? Mankus, remember? Nakasa, nakis, mankus. You know, it's a muffle, something that has been made weak, you know, fine. So, but then here, I start with uh, Ma, Shi, Yun. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Ma, Shi, Yun. Okay? Now, it is Mashaya. From there, you made it in, on the pattern of Fa, Ilun. But here, because there is a Ya, and before there is a Kasara, okay? So, this Ya is stopped. And because there was a tanmin here, you give it an extra tanmin here. Compensate it. For chopping this, give something to poor, uh, you know, Ain Kalima. Uh, you took out the Lam Kalima. So it became Ma Shin. Uh. Ma Shin. See, now it has got tanmin kasra. But tell me, is it marfu or mansu? Or, uh, it is marfu. Uh, it is marfu. And... Now this is what we are going to study in detail later on. It is marfu. Okay. How do I say? How do I say? Say it in English. It is uh, marfu. Uh, and what is the sign of its marfu? There, there is an estimated dhamma. Where is that estimated dhamma? Uh, on the ya that was dropped. No, you will say ya. Yeah. No, here in this particular case, you will say ya. Yeah. Huh, brother? No, no, ya. Yeah. I will tell you now. This is in English. It is marfu. It is marfu by a dhamma, mukhadara, estimated dhamma, on the ya which has been dropped. Huh? Now say it in Arabic, brother. Fa'ilun or, or you can say mutada, what? Ismun you can say. Ismun marfun wa alamatu rafaihi adammatul mukaddara alal yai mezufati. What will you say? Ala yail mezufati. You will get used to it. I am only telling you a little bit, brother and sisters. You will get used to it. Are you with me? Alal yai mezufati. If I say that, did you understand? On the ya, which is dropped. Alal yai, mezufati. Why yai? Because ya is a muannas. All the letters of alphabet are muannas. Fine. And if it is fi or min there, then you will repeat the same thing. But you will say, ism is majroor. Now, when it is Mansu, brothers and sisters, then the Ya comes out and it will become Ma Shi Yan. No longer Mukaddara. Only in the Marfu form and in Majroor form it is Mukaddara. Brothers and sisters, this is just a little explanation, because we are going to do it in the book uh, three, lesson number one. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, same way, brothers and sisters, what is the, the ism file from Samma Musammiyun? What is it? Huh? What is it, brother? Mu Sam Musammi. Yun, Brother Hassan, we, we remove this and then give a extra kasa. Musam min. Musam huh? min. Okay? And then here we say Musam man. Are you with me, brother and sister? Musam man. Huh? Okay. Not going too much in detail, but it is like that. Okay, fine. So if I give, if I make this mashi, mashin, definite 
How will I write down? Huh? Al ma she. Huh? Now I will bring the ya out. Huh? Okay? Are you with me? Now how do I define this? Ismu marfun. Wa alamatu rafa'i. Where is the alamat of rafa? Mukaddara where? Yeah. On ya. Huh? Wa alamatu rafa'i adhammatul mukaddara alal ya. Huh? Alal ya. Okay, are you with me? In this case, Brother Hassan, the ya is there. It is actually al mashi you. But you will say al mashi. Huh? Why are you doing these things here? Because these are derived from nakis verb. When the lam kalima is nakis, we, 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 we have to do all these things, you know. So it requires extra understanding of verbs. And brothers and sisters, that is the beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim's books. Now if you reflect on it, brother, how we started book two, how we learned the verbs, slowly, 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 he made us strong. And then we, when we came to lesson 29, bang, uh, the knockers came. But we were ready for it. With just little understanding, uh, we mastered it. Uh, inshallah, you will master this. If you are strong in lesson 29 in book 2, lesson 28 in book 2, khalas. You will have no problems, inshallah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, we come to Salah. We come to Salah. Are you with me? Salah. Salah, ya. Brother, Salah. <laughs> you got to get, uh, you got to see, when you see the fata, don't make any changes. Salah. Huh? You only drop the uh, lam kalima because it is weak. Huh? Salah. Salaya. Salau. Salat. Salata. Salaina. Salaita. See? Huh? Al salaita. Al salaiti means did you pray? Huh? Al salaita. Salata zohar. Al salaiti salat al zohar or salat al maghrib salat al maful bi salat al fine brother and sister now we come to mudariya are you with me yusalli yusalliyani now you can say yusalluna easy brother now you see it will become your second nature you will have no difficulty brother uh, and whenever you read Quran, you will see all these things coming to you, and you will understand. You saluna, tu salli, tu salliyani, you sallina. Anta, tu salli, tu salliyani, tu saluna, tu sallina, tu salliyani, tu sallina. Usalli, I pray. No salli, we are praying. Are you with me, man, sister? Amar. Salli and then Salliya and then Sallu because you Salluna. Okay, brothers and sisters, let me write down. Huh? Let me write down. You Salluna. Are you with me, brother? You Salluna. Brother Hassan. Chop, chop. <laughs> okay, what is the verb now? Salu. Kelu amrin. Mabniun ala hazfi. Where is the file? In Allah wa malaikatahu. You saluna. You see? You saluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. Salu. Okay. Brother, I forgot here. I made an error here. Huh? Okay. So what is now? Huh? Ya yaladina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu. And that is also coming from here. 
Salimu Tasliman. What is Tasliman? Mustar. Now, what is this Mustar doing here? How I define it in Arabic? Brothers, are you listening? Mafulun Mutlak. Are you with me? This is how the Mafulun Mutlak comes for further emphasizes. You cannot translate it. Huh? So you bring the master of the verb, huh? of the verb that is you are using it in the sentence and make it mansub for emphasis. Again I tell you, in the law, see now you can analyze this. Huh? You can analyze this. In the law, Yusalluna Yusalluna Al-Nabi Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu Sallu Alayhi wa sallimu Taslima Brothers and sisters So now you can take this verse of the Quran And analyze it And when you say this No translation You understand in Arabic And understand it fully brother Again, I will repeat. In Allah, in made Allah mansub. Huh? Where is the, the Allah is this moment? Where is khabar in Inna In Allah, wa malaikatahu matufun ala yusalluna. This is your khabar. Yusalluna ala nabi. Yeah. And then a new sentence starts. We'll analyze it later, inshallah, in detail. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu sallu alayhi. Now here the amr comes. And wow is antum. Allah is speaking to you. Huh? When you read the Quran, he's speaking to us. Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Now everybody says taslima. Huh? But it is actually Tasliman. Huh? And what is this Tasliman? It is the master, Bab Tafail, from Salama. So Salimu Tasliman. You brought that master and made it Mansu. Huh? Because all Mafulun Mutlak are Mansu. And this is done for further emphasis. What is it done for? Further emphasis, brother. You cannot translate this. This is the beauty uh, and the power and the magic of Arabic language. And we have to learn it. And brothers and sisters, I again tell you, we are trying to learn Arabic in order to understand the Quran. We do not have to you know, become scholars of Arabic to understand Quran. Just the basic things in Arabic language and which Dr. Abdurrahim has so beautifully put together in these three books. If you understand these three books, it is good for us to understand Quran. 85%. Now what will happen for the next 15%? There are still rules which are not covered. And then inshallah you will do it on your own. Huh? Or when Dr. Abdurrahim comes, he will give us ex special classes. And he will teach us inshallah. But you know, you are there at 85%, 90%, which is Alhamdulillah. And, the, Alhamdulillah. and these sentences that we are quoting here and there from Quran, that's very easy, brother. Very, very easy. Inshallah, we'll do the analysis of Surah Al-A'la. And you'll see it's very easy. And many, many other surahs, it's within our uh, reach to understand, brother and sisters, directly. So when you pray, brother, you know what we are doing. It will create uh, emotions, khushu and khuzu, uh, which only your heart will feel it. Uh, it will bring humility and humbleness in us when we are praying, brother. Our mind, our heart, our body, uh, they will be in communication with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, brother, and then your salah is Something special. Right now, whether we pray, we don't understand. Which is sad. Huh? But it will change once we learn the language, inshallah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So you got this done. Huh? Now, it took quite a bit of time to do this. And now, I'm going to wipe it.
brothers and sisters, there are ten forms that we are doing. Huh? So you can take a verb from the base form and make addition to the root and you create a new shade of meaning. Are you with me? Now, each and every word in the base form does not fit into ten forms. Each and every verb does not. And we do not have to create our own. The, the, the language has already been created. So we just follow what has been put into different form. For example, if I give you a, an example, brothers and sisters, so this verb practically covers most of it, but not all the verbs. Some verbs will have only two additional forms. Some may have four, some may have three. Uh, but the dictionary will tell us whether the root has been transformed into a derived form in how many different forms. Hmm? The dictionary will tell us. So we do not have to create our own. And you do not guess the meaning. You always go to the dictionary to figure out the meaning. It will be related to the root, but it can be different also. The dictionary will tell you. Okay, brothers and sisters, I'll just briefly write down. Huh? Kabila. This is the root, brother. And then. Kabbala. Form 2. And then. Kabbala. Form 3. And then. Akbala. Form 4, and then Takabbala, Form 5, and then Takabbala, Form 6, Form 6, and then it is, there is no 7 in there, Ikkabbala. Form 8 and Form 9, I'll just tell you briefly, it does not have in Form 9. And Form 10, ten is Ista. This is your addition to the base form. Istak Bala. Are you with me? Now we must remember, brothers and sisters, Form 9. Are you with me? Form 9 is only used for colors or defects in the body. So the use of form 9 is less. Uh, the other forms are used extensively. Okay? So you can see the Kabila change into Kabbala. The root remains same. Uh, and Kabbala. Okay? And then Akbala. And then Takabbala. And then Takabala. And then Iktabala. And then Istakbala. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, this is an idea. So, do not think that every base root word can be transferred into all these forms. No. Some of them will have two extra forms. Some may have three. Some may have only one. Some may have six, five. Depends how it has been used in the past. Okay? In the Quran and in the Arabic, Arabic literature. Quran and in Arabic literature. <clears throat> now, brothers and sisters, having said that, I go to our, I go to our house. House of Fa'ala. What did I say? House of Fa'ala. Now, we we want to make one more room, so we make here small room, huh? and we put aleph. What do we call it, brothers and sisters? What do we call it? Form three. What is the master? Huh? Bab. 
Mufa-la-thun. Are you with me? Bab Bufa Alatun. This has got two master patterns. And what is the other one, brothers and sisters? Remember? Fi Alun. Uh, what is it? Fi Alun. It has got two forms. Now we will always get this information from the dictionary. Don't change everything into Fi Alun. There are certain verbs which have been used for fialun, for the master from, on the pattern of fialun, but most of the time the pattern is used is bufa alatun. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine, brothers and sisters. Fa ala. So here we write down the verb. What is the verb? Shahada. What is it, brother? Shahada. Okay. How many letters? Four. Four. How will you make it? The mudarya? U. Because it is four letter, U. Huh? So you will say U Shahi Du. Are you with me? Brother Hassan? Big Amar, brother. How many chops? Shahid. Shahid. One chop. Huh? Shahid. Huh? It became Shahid. Are you with me? And then we can say Shahida, Shahidu, Shahidi, with ya. Fine. Okay, brother and sisters. Maybe I should write down here. Shahid. And then Isam file. Mushahidun. Mushahidun. And then Mushahadun. And then uh, mushahadatun. Uh, you say in Urdu mushahada. So because you did not pronounce tun, so it is mu shahadatun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No, I, I forgot to mention one more thing, but still it's not too late. Brother, I want to go again with the salla. Salla. I want to do it again, brother. You, you salli. Brother, we made the Amar salli. And then it will be sallu. Remember? Huh? Now, make Isam file. What will be? Musallin. Huh? Huh? Okay, now make it isam maful. But it is, just make it. Now, what is this, brother? This is not isam maful. This is ismu makan. Made on the pattern of isam maful. What is musalla? The, the place where you pray. Huh? This Talim al-Islam has a musalla. Are you with me? How did you make it? On the pattern of Ism Maful. So you will be making Ismu Makan and Ismu Zaman in these derived forms. Where? In the derived forms on the pattern of Ism Maful. In Fial Sulasi Mujarat, it has a different uh, uh, patterns. But in the derived form, you will make ismu makan and ismu zaman on the pattern of ismu maf'ul. Huh? But again, we are going to study it in detail. So you should not worry. But at least 
I thought I should mention it. Musallin is the person who performs the prayer. If you put Alif Lam, what will it become? Al Musal Al Musal Li. Are you with me? Then the Ya will come out because you put Al there. Huh? Musallin and then Al Musal Li. Make it into Jama Mudakar Salim. Musalluna. What will be? Wow. Wow and noon, brother. Jama Muzakar Salim. So what will happen now? Wow came. So this kasra will change into Musalloon. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? These things will come, brother and sister. Al Musal Luna. Now this is your Jama Mudaka Salim. Fine. Just for your information. But more important thing I want to emphasize is Musalla. It is a Ismu Makam. And it was built on the pattern of Ism Mafool. Just remember. Again, as I've said many times to you, these things will come in book three, left and right. And inshallah, you will be able to understand them. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. I'll quickly rub this off. Huh? Brother, Kabala. He met Kabala. Kabala. Kabalu. Kabalat. Kabalata, Kabalna, Kabalta, Kabaltuma, Kabaltum, Kabalti, Kabaltuma, Kabaltuna, Kabaltu, I met, Kabalna, we met, fine brother, Yukabilu, Yukabilu, Yukabilani, Yukabiluna, Tukabilu, Tukabilani, Yukabilna, Yukabilna, and the rest is all easy brother, Amar, Kabil, huh? Only Kabil. Huh? And then, brothers and sisters, Mustar. Mukabalatun. What is Mukabalatun meaning? <laughs> Meeting. Huh? And what do you say in Urdu? Mukabala. Kya Mukabala Urdu ka lafz hai? No way. It is borrowed from Arabic. Mukabalatun. And we say Mukabala. Huh? We say Mukabala. Fine, brother and sister. So you see how things are now coming in front of us. Huh? Brother, I was truly speaking, I was fascinated by this, these things. That it made everything so clear. Things that you already know, but you never knew it in detail. Now they are very clear to you. Fine, brother and sister. Another word. Samaha. Huh? Yusameho. Very nice word, brother. He forgave. Huh? Samaha, Samaha, Samahu, Samahat, Samahata, Samahna, Samahna. And then Samahta, Samahatuma, inshallah. See, your knowledge and your, your expertise in conjugation now huh, is coming to you. Uh, and it, it's a bearing fruit now. You saw me who, you saw me honey, you saw me huna, to saw me who, to saw me honey, you saw me. And then it will go. Amar. Same. Same. What is the meaning of Same? Forgive me. Same. Forgive me, Ostad. I didn't bring my book today. <laughs> anyway, Sami, huh? Sim file, Musamihun, Isim Mafool, Musama, Mahun, and our master, Musamahatun, Mufa Alatun. Huh? Are you with me? Mufa Alatun. No, brother? Khataba, to address some, somebody. Khataba, Yukhatibu, we can easily do it now. Khataba, Madi, Mudaria, 
یو خاطب امر خاطب اسم فائل مخاطب اسم مفعول دمیر غائب اینڈ دمیر مخا تب اف یو رائٹ تب دا میننگ ول چینج تب مینس سم ون ہو از بینگ ایڈریسڈ انتا مینس یو آر بینگ ایڈریسڈ انتی سو مخا تب سو وی آلریڈی اسٹارٹڈ لرننگ دمیر مخا تب سو واٹ از مخا تب اس ام مفول کمنگ فرام خاتم برادر سسٹر Now at that time we cannot explain to you what is this mukhatab. You'll say I want to <laughs> go out, you know. It's too much. And brother and sister, we slowly, slowly learn all these things, inshallah. Fine. And then brother and sister, make mustar now. Khitab. Huh? What is it? Fiyarun. Khitab. Now here the mustar is khitab. Got the idea, brother and sisters? Very good. Sa'ada, you sa'idu, to help someone. Okay. Amar, sa'id. Sa'id ni ya akhi. Help me, oh brother. Are you with me? Sa'id ni. Noon vikaya, ya matakalam. Okay. And then, the person who is helping, musa'idu. The person who is being helped, musa'adu. And then, Master, Musa Adatun. Musa Adatun. Okay, fine, brother. Another nice word, brother. Jahada. You jahidu. Amar? Jahid. Ism file? Brother Mujahid. I'm sure you know some brother Mujahid. So you know that name Mujahid? Fine. Today you know it is coming from Form 3. It is the ism file from Form 3. The verb is jahada. And the base is jim ha da. Fine, brother and sister. And then amar. Amar, we got it. Jahid. Then master. Jihad. See, now it is on the fialu. So the way these are done, we got to understand them. We don't. Mix up with the masters. Huh? Don't create your own masters. <laughs> They are already there in the language. We just follow them. Inshallah. Okay, brother. Ha, wala. Very nice word. To, to try. You ha, willu. Ha, will. Muha, willun. Muha, walun. And muha, walatun. Fine, brother. Now comes laka. What is this laka business? Huh? Mankus. So your knowledge of your nakis verb will become handy here. Let us do it, brother. Laka, laka ya, la kau, la kau. And then lakat, lakata, lakaina, lakaita, lakaituma, lakaitum, lakaiti, lakaituma, lakaitunna, lakaitu, lakaina. No problems here. Yulaki, yulaki yani, yulakuna. Are you with me? Tulaki, tulaki yani, yulakina. The hard chickpeas we made into a halwa puri now. Huh? Okay, now brothers and sisters, make Amar. Huh? Amar. No, no, no. Huh? Chop, chop. Laki, la, ki, fiyalu amrin, mabniyun ala, hadafi, harfi, illa, laki. And then what will be the next one? Laki ya, and will be laku, inshallah. Okay, now make it some file. Mula, kin, kin. 
Mulakin. Al Mulaqi ya will come out. Huh? And then Mula can. Like that. Huh? Now make master on the pattern of Mafa Alatun. Let us make it straight away. Mu la ka ya tun. This is your original master. Okay? Remember, and now the change took place. Huh? That ya change into the, Mulakat. Brother, I thought I have heard this thing millions of times. Huh? Teri meri mulakat. Adi rahe gai. Are you with me? How many times you have said this? Huh? Okay. So this is what it is. What is mulakat? It's the master. From form three. And what is the root? Lakiya. Lakiya. Huh? See how beautiful it is, brother. You are getting now insight into these things, you know. Fine. And uh, where is the next one? What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We've got to do it fully. Brothers and sisters, we are going to do fully this. Nada. What will be the mudarya? Yuna di fine brother. You na di. See? Huh? Okay. Do it now. Nada. Nadaya. Nadau. Nadat. Nadata. Nadaina. Nadaita. Nadaituma. Nadaitum. Nadaiti. Nadaituma. Nadaituna. Nadaitu. Nadaina. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yunadi. Yunadi. Yunadi yani. Yunaduna. Tunadi. Tunadi yani. Yunadina. Anta. Tunadi. Tunadi yani. Antum. Tunaduna. Anti. Tunadina. Tunadi yani. Tunadina. Unadi. Nu, nunadi. Unadi. Nunadi. Fine, brothers and sisters. Amar. Nadi. Huh? What is the Amar, brother? Nadi. Okay, fine, brothers and sisters. Isam file. Munadin. Huh? Munadin. Are you with me? We got to learn the rules of Writing mankus nouns. And what will be some muffled? It is actually like this, written like this. But how do we pronounce? Munada. Like fatan, you say fata. Are you with me? Fatan, you say fata. And munada, it is actually mula dan. Fine, brother. Now, let us make master. Nida. Harfu nida. What is ya? Harfu nida. Okay, brother. Ni da un. Now you got to understand how this Hamza came. Huh? Brother? It is actually Nida Yum. Are you with me? So whenever it is like this, the ya will change into hamza. Huh? That ya will change into hamza. And it will become nida un. So you know when you write down, brothers and sisters, ya is what? Harfu nida in. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, brother? Now you understand nida. Where is it coming from? Nada. And what is this nida? It's the master on the pattern of fialu. So all these things are already in the language. We just have to understand. Brothers and sisters, all these things will come in the Quran and you will be amazed 
that you now know it, brother and sister. Rabbana inana samiana. Both they came. Both are. Rabbana inana samiana munadiyan. It is munadiyan. Huh? Because when you make uh, uh, this uh, ism maful, it will be munadiyan. Muna di yan. Hmm? Now what is this? Munadin became munadi yan. Huh? Are you with me? Rabbana inana samiana munadi huh? munadi yan yunadi huh? ilalim imana huh? Ah, okay. Are you with me, brother and sister? We will say again. Rabbana inana samiana munadiyan junadi lil iman. And aminu bi rabbikum fa amanna. Rabbana faghfir lana zunubana wa kaffir anna sayyiatina wa tawafana ma'al abrar. Brother, all these things are coming now in the dry forms. And when you understand then you read this ayah, you have a different feelings and it will become the memorize. memorization of the Quran will become easy for you because you are now understanding what you are learning. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, I think we ended the form three. We'll do form four, inshallah, after tea break. Huh? Let us have... <coughs> Alhamdulillah, brother, we are back. Now, I have a question from Sister Medina. She said, how come you had uh, the verb laka and it changed into mula ka tun and then we have verb uh, nada and it changed into nidaun. Sister Medina, Mulakatun is on the pattern of Mufa Ala Tun. And Nidaun is on the pattern of Fi'al. That is the reason. And more about these will come in the later forms. You will be learning more about these things. Okay? But here, if you take this form, and you try laka into this, then it will become mu la ka ya tun. So what this tun came because it is on the pattern of mufa'ala tun. That is why tun came. Okay. Now this ya change into alif. Okay. So it became mula ka. What is actually ka? Ka ya. Huh? Huh? And then mula ka tun. Okay. Now what is this fi'alum doing? Huh? So from nada you get nida yun. Nida yun. Now this yun change into un. Okay? This tun is because of the pattern. Huh? And this un is ya change into it. More of these will come later on and you will have a clear understanding, inshallah. So as much as you can understand, try it. Later on we'll understand more. Yes, Sister Madina? Yes. You will see coming in the Quran or in our lessons. Uh, for example, Jahada you Jahidu. You know jihad because that's the commonly used uh, noun, master noun, no? jihad. Uh, so, so you won't say mujahadatun. You will say jihad because that's the commonly used thing, you know. And then we say. Uh, 
Sa'ada yusa'idutan yulsi musa'adatun. Or shahada yushahidu yulsi mushahadatun. So they are all coming in our lessons. And then we just follow it. We just follow it. And our mind and our eyes will keep it open. So we come across these things, then we will try to weigh it. Huh? What kind of a mustard was used? On what pattern the mustard was used? Huh? Inshallah. It will come slowly, slowly. Today is, brother and sister, day one of your exposure to these forms. As you go along in the book three, you'll become stronger and stronger. Okay, brothers and sisters, so quickly I go to form four, inshallah, brothers and sisters. Arsala. What is the word? Arsala. Now you see, there were three rooms. We added a small room and put Hamdatul Kata there. Now it is Afu Allah. What is the pattern? Afu Allah. Afu Allah. This is your normal. If the verb is sound, you will have Afu Allah. Arsala. But then what is this? You are This is your original. Huh? But then we don't say like that. We say, Yur Silu. Now remember, behind Yur Silu, Hamzatul Kata is sitting. But for us, we say jokingly, it's gone to Tim Horton, you know. Everybody wants to go to Tim Horton. I don't know why. <laughs> what is so special about that? <laughs> okay. Okay, so it is there, but we do not pronounce it. It is behind there. You are silu. Okay, brother. How do I make Amar? As soon as I make a chop here, brother Hassan, huh? Huh? if I make a chop here, uh, it's there. Hamza is already there. I do not have to bring anything. And remember, this is the only time when in the Amar Hamza has a Hamzatul Kata is with Fata. Huh? In the Fayal Sulasi, Hamzatul Asal has either Kasra or Dhamma. You know that, huh? In Fayal Sulasi, Hamza has either Dhamma or Kasra. Never, never Fata in Fayal Sulasi. But in Fayal Sulasi Mazid Fihi, we have one time, only one time, when we have arsala, yursilu, arsil, because that hamdatul kata is part of the verb. It is part of the verb. So, arsala, you arsilu, and when you make amar, you chop, you, arsil is there. So, all the time, hamza, that is not visible in Mudarya, when you chop you, it is there. It is there, inshallah. Okay, yourself. Brothers and sisters, yes? Can you describe it normally? Like when you say, Fialun Mudaryun? No, this sister, Fialun Mudaryun, Marfun Bidamma. What will you say? Fialun Amarin, Mabniun Ala Sukun. That's all. Because then, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let me write down here, Arsul. So what will you say? The A is part of the verb. You didn't bring it. It is there. And fellow Amarin Mabni Nala Sukum. Got the idea, brother and sister? What will be the ism file? Nur Silun. Okay, brother and sister? What is ism of Ul? Mur Salun. And what is the master? Irsalun. What is the master? Remember Hamzatul Kata. Irsalun. Irsalun. Fine, brothers and sisters. Very easy. 
we'll try to conjugate difficult verbs. I want to do as-salama. No? The root is salima. Huh? Some of these root verbs are used in, uh, uh, you know, commonly in our Fiel Solasi Mujarat form. Sometimes they are not used. They are only used in Mazid Fihi. So, brothers and sisters, As-Salama. Yuslimu. Okay? As-Salama. As-Salama. As-Salamu. As-Salamat. As-Salamata. As-Salamna. Then it's easy. Yuslimu. Yuslimani. Yuslimuna. Tuslimu. Tuslimani. Yuslimna. Are you with me? Yuslimna. Fine, brothers and sisters. Aslim. Aslima. Aslimu, Aslimi, Aslima, as, Aslimna. Got the idea? And brothers and sisters, I didn't write it. Let me write it, brother. Aslama. So it is here, you, Aslimu. Huh? Remember, this is only for us to understand. Huh? But actually it is Yus Limu. And then As Lim. And then Muslim. Huh? Mus Limu. We do not have Isam Maful from this. Brothers and sisters. Oh, gosh. Now, do you know the word Islam is the master of Aslam? Isn't it wonderful, brothers and sisters? It's amazing. Huh? It became Islam. That's the master. Submission. Huh? Okay, fine, brothers and sisters. You got the idea, huh? Alhamdulillah. Now, we, we go to Ajaba. Brother, the original is Jaba. What is Jaba? Ajwaf. Huh? So it became Ajaba. Huh? Ajaba. Ajaba. What will be the Mudariya? What will be? You ad you are jibu. You are jibu. Are you with me? It will become you are jibu. You are jibu. And but we don't say that, huh, brothers and sisters? Remember, this is oh, I'm only writing for your understanding. This is not the way we use it. What will you say? Yujibu. Yes. See? Huh? You will now learn all these things and, and when you read Quran, it will be a different uh, feelings altogether. Brother and sister, make Amar. See, normally you will say Jib. Huh? But brother, that Hamza is sitting there behind. Because if you say jib, then you are going to fail solasi. This is mazid fihi. That is why I'm writing Hamza, Hamza Tulkata, so you know that it now is. How many times since book one we are reading ajib anil as'ilatil atiyati? How do we know ajib? Today you know it is ajib is amar. Answer. Huh? And brother? Muji, Muji, huh? Okay. See now, because it is Ajwa, Sister Madina, remember, what is there? Ajaba, so Ajwa. But when it is Ajwa, then the Tamarbuta will come. What will come? Ija. 
Why did Tamaruta came? Because it is Ajwaf. Are you with me? So whenever there is Ajwaf, Tamar Bhuta will come in Master. Huh? Okay. So Ija Batun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now we do one more quickly. Hmm? A karma. What is the root? Karma. Again, Ajwaf. Karma Yakumu. Huh? A karma. You. You. Akimu. A karma. You. Akimu. But that's not the way we use it. What do we use it, brother? Yukimu. Huh? And then. Akim. How many times do we say Akimu Salah? Huh? Amar. Now what is Akim? Akimu Salah. Huh? Are you with me? So brother, we are going to come there, huh? inshallah. Huh? And what will be? Brother Abdul Mukim. <laughs> brother, <laughs> now you know that Mukim is from Akama. Huh? Okay, and then Ikamatun. Huh? Why Ikamatun tun came? Because it is Ajwaf. You will remember that. Huh? Ikamatun. But let's now go in, in detail, brother. Ajaba. Ajaba. Ajabu. Ajabat. Ajabata. Ajabna. Huh? Ajabna. Huh? You, are you with me? Sister Nasrin? Ajabna. See? You bring here noon. You get a sukun here. There is a sukun already on Aleph. So it went away. So what is now? Ajabna. Ajabta. Ajabtuma. Ajabtum. Ajabti. Ajabtuma. Ajabtunna. Ajabtu. Ajabna. If you say Ajabtu means I answered. Ajabna. We answered. Got the idea? Fine, brother. Yujibu. Huh? Yujibu. Yujibani. Yujibuna. Tujibu. Tujibani. Yu. Jibna. Yu. Jibna. Again, the bar became sakin. We had to drop the ya. Are you with me? Anta. Tujibu. Tujibani. Tujibuna. Tujibina. Tujibani. To Jibna, Ujibu, Nujibu. Huh? Okay? Inshallah, we'll analyze that verse. Iza sa'ala ibadi anni fa'inni karibu. We'll analyze that, Inshallah. But I want to wait till we come to the understanding of the term Iza. Iza has something beautiful things hidden inside it. We will learn, Inshallah. Okay, brother? Ajib. Now, if you start Ajib, then what will be for Huma? Ajiba. Ya will be there now. Huh? And what will be there? Ajibu. Huh? Because now, it is Yujibu. Okay? So, it is Ajibu. Huh? Are you with me? Okay. Same way, it is Akim and then Akima. Akimu. Akimu Salat. Are you with me? So, how will you write down, brothers and sisters? Hmm? What is the Amar? That is the Amar. Then Akimi, Akima, Akim. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, brothers and sisters, Arshad, Yorsh, Arshada, Yorshidu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Arshada, Yorshidu. Fine. Brothers and sisters, Arshada, Arshadu, Arshadat, Arshadata, Arshadna, Arshatta. Yorshidu, 
Yoshidani fine. That also easy. Amar Arshit. Huh? Fine. Isam fine. Murshid. And then Murshad. Huh? And then Irshad. Huh? That that word in Urdu Irshad, Irshad comes from Arshada. Yurshidu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, we haven't put here the verb, but you know that verb very much. Arada. Uh, you know that, huh? Let's do it quickly. Arada, arada, aradu, aradat, aradata, aradna, aratta. You know. Yuridu, yuridani, yuriduna, turidu, turidani, yuridna. We know it. Amar, aridu. Arida, Aridu, Aridi, you got it. Is some file? Murid? I know this word from a long time. What is the meaning of Murid? One who desires something. Huh? And Murshid is someone who guides. Yeah, director. Someone who guides. Huh? Are you with me, brother? Okay. Sister <coughs> Madina. I am writing here Arada. I want you to make I want you to make master out of it. What do you say in Urdu? Irada. Aapka irada kya hai? Means what is your wish? What are you wishing? But we never say irada. Tun, you always say irada. Huh? Maybe in Farsi also it's there. So it is actually irada tun. Huh? Why it is tun? Because it is ajwa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Huh? So this is also there. Huh? Now, now we come to nakis. Huh? Alka yulki. Very nice verb. Comes in the Quran. Okay, brothers and sisters. Let's do it. Alka. Alkaya. Al-Kaul, bas. Brother, I can make mistakes once. <laughs> then I am careful. Huh? Al-Kaul. And then Al-Kat. Al-Kata. Al-Kaina. Al-Kaita. Fine. Al-Ka. Yulki. Yulkiyani. Yulkuna. Huh? Tolki. Yulkiyani. Yulkina. Huh? Please write it at home. Huh? Inshallah. When you will write it, you will become so strong, brother. Uh, you will turn this book three into halwa puri. Uh, and you will enjoy it. You, will, you are going to enjoy it. People run away from book three. But I say, no, 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 it's very beautiful. And you will love it, inshallah. But the key is that we should be strong in our conjugation, conjugation of verbs. All those nakis, ajwa verbs, we should understand, inshallah. Fine. Brother, make Amar now. Yulki, Alki. Huh? And Alki, uh, Alkiya, and Alku. Alku, remember? Alku, huh? Okay, fine. So I just write down Amar here. How many letters? Alka? Four. Huh? It is coming from Lakiya. Huh? The root is? La, he, yeah. Alka. And what will be the Amar brother? I Let me write down. Uh, yulki. And then. This is your. Uh, say, where is your Isam file? How will you make Isam file? Mulken. Uh, Mulken. You write down, Molken. Okay? Now if you put Alif Lam, it will become Al Mulkri, where the Ya will come out. Are you with me? The Ya will come out. Huh? I'll write down again. One more time, brother and sister. This is lesson number 17. We'll be doing it. Huh? Book 3. But we are preparing ourselves now. Uh, 
so that when the lesson number 17 comes, you will be you will be eating it quickly. Uh, and, okay. And then, brother, Bulkan, Sister Madina, make master, Alka, if Ahlun, Ilka, Yun, then change you into Hamza. What will you say? Ilka, Un. Have you got the way? What will you say? It will be first, Ilka, Yun. Then you will change that Yun into Un. Huh? You will change Il, Ka, Un. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Little practice and you will become very strong. Brothers and sisters, okay. I'm, I may leave one or two words because you know it a lot, but I want to do something that, inshallah, you will like it. Atfa'a yutfi'u. This is very easy. Except it's in the, uh, there's a spelling rule to be followed for writing Hamza. See, when it got a kasra before Hamza, Hamza got a kursiya, ya. When it had a sukun before, then it got a kursiya, alif. Are you with me? These are the rules you will be observing. Okay. Now, brother and sister, atamma. Huh? Atamma. So, what is here? If you break it down, atamma. Atmama. What is it? Atmama. Atmama. That is the root. But then, in order to pronounce properly, brothers and sisters, Atmama, remember it is Mudaf, so we exchange vowel signs and we make it. Now I can give it a idgham. Are you with me? It became atamma. What is originally? Atmama. Which is tamma. Which is actually tamma. Huh? Fine. And same way, brothers and sisters, another beautiful, beautiful verb, brother. Huh? What is this, brother? Habba. Change it into form for Ahabba. What is actually? Ahbaba. Af'ala. Ahbaba. Ah. Ba. Ba. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, again, we have two Ain Kalima and Lam Kalima similar. <coughs> so, <coughs> here the vowel signs are exchanged. It became now Are you with me? Ah Ahbaba became Ahabba Ahabba. So now you can give it the Ram. And it changed into Ahabba. Do you see how it happened? Now remember the rule of Mudaf. What was the rule of Mudaf? If there is a Sakin pronoun, there will be a Idgham. If there is a Mutaharik pronoun, there will be a break in the Idgham. Okay? Huh? In, wherever. Madi Mudaria doesn't matter. I repeat the rule. Huh? You, you must remember Sakin pronouns and Mutaharik pronouns. Okay? Sakin pronouns in the Madi are five. And nine are Mutaharik pronouns. And in Mudaria, Sakin pronouns are 12, and two are Mutaharik pronouns. So I start with Sakin pronouns. Huwa is a Sakin pronoun. Inside that Huwa, the Damir is considered as a Sakin pronoun. So how will I start? 
Ahabba. Are you with me? Ahabba. Ahabbu. Ahabbat. Ahabbata. Now comes mutahrik pronouns. How will you say now? Ahababna. Are you with me? You went into the original. Ahababna. You just gave a sukun here and added the noon. Ah, babna, and then ah babta, ah bab, tuma, ah bab tum, ah bab ti, ah bab tuma, ah bab tunna, ah bab tu, ah babna. Yes, sister Madina. No, 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 no. Ah bu. Bow will only come when we are dropping the lam kalima. It is not nakes. Are you with me, sister Madina? When did you started? Saying bau, huh? masha, mashaya, mashau. Because it is a lam kalima is a weak letter. Ya or wow. In here, there is no weak letter. Are you with me? So nothing is dropped. So it will be ahabba, ahabba, ahabbu, ahabbat, ahabbata, ah. Babina, are you with me? No, what will be the mudarya? Yohibbu, what is original? Yohibbu, what is original? Yohbibu, mashallah. Yohbibu. Are you with me, brother? Yohbibu. Huh? Because, remember here, huh? you will make you ah bibu. Huh? What will you make from here? You ah bibu. Fine. Yohibbu. Yohibbu. But we write down like this, brother and sister. Yohibbu. Huh? Are you with me? You will write down like this. Yohibbu, which is actually yohibbu. And then, how, how, how did the uh, ha got a kasra? We, we change the vowel signs. Huh? We gave a kasra here and sukun here. So it changed into yohibbu. But what is originally? Yohbibu. Huh? Fine, brother and sister. Mudarya. Yohibbu. Yohibbani. Yohibbuna. Tohibbu. Tohibbani. Yohibbina. Huh? Now you can't see. Break the idham. Yoh bibu became yoh bibna. And toh. Kalas. Toh bibna. We are now coming to the master. Make the master out of this. Ihbab. But this master is not used. The master, whenever you use ahabba, you use the master from fel sulasi. What is the master of fel sulasi? Hubbun. What is it? Hubbun. That is from Fel Sulasi we use it. Keep that in mind. Now let us make it Atamma. Uh, that we were writing here. Atmama. Atamma. Okay, now quickly, brother. Atamma. Atamma. Atammu. Atammat. Atammata. Atmamna. Khalas, brother. Yutimmu. Yutimmani. Yutimmuna, tutimmu, tutimmani, yutmimna. Khalas, brother. You know it, brother. Okay. Now, Amar. Atmim. Or Atimma. Atimma. Okay. It, atmim. Atmim also can be used, brother. Let us leave aside the Amar now. We will, when we go to Book 3, we will inshallah. Well, let us go to Isam file. Mutimmun. Huh? Allah is mutimmu. Are you with me? It's in the Quran. Huh? Mutimmu. Are you with me? Now, make master. Itmamun. Huh? Itmamun. Got the idea? Itmamun. You got the idea? Now, if you will do it, you will figure out. If you won't do it, what will happen, brothers and sisters? 
हवा में उड़ता जाए मेरा फ्यल मेरा फाइल हो जी हो जी इधर उधर लहराए मेरा मुदाफर मुदाफिले ही हो जी हो जी दीज दीज आर द थिंग्स विच फ्लाई ओवर यू बट यू गाट टू डो इट यू गाट टू डो इट ओके ओके बदन सिस्टर्स सेम वे इज आदा नो बदर मोहम्मद दीज वर्ब्स यू कैन लुक इन टू द डिक्शनरी एंड सी हाउ द अमर कम्स इन शाह बट इफ दे आर नॉट यूज फ्रीक्वेंटली वी समटाइम्स डोंट यू नो बॉदर अबाउट इट यू नो ओके असलाह यो स्लेह अमर असलेह इजम फायर मुस्लेह इट कम्स इन द कुरान एंड देन इसलाह कम्स नाउ द लास्ट वर्ब आई वॉट ओनली फोर फाइव मिनट्स लेफ्ट इन शाह आई वॉन्ट टू डू इट and then we'll finish this session brother inshallah the verb in the fi'l sulasi is amina bring it into form four what is this brother okay now you see amana amar is form four huh Are you with me? This change into ah mana. Now, once you know all these things, brother, then your understanding of Quran is deeper. Look at it, brother. Ah mana. Make it mudaria. You look at this. Yo, then Hamza is there. Huh? Yo, menu. Okay, brother and sisters, are you with me, brother? You may know. Now remember, sometimes people sometimes say you may know. It is also partially correct, but this is the best way to write down. You may know. Okay, fine, brother. Make it Amar. The Amar is actually like this. This is your Amar. So how do you do it? Ah. Min, huh? Hmm? Amin, huh? Amin. Masha. But let's go to Amin. Aminu. That is your Amar. Believe. Aminu. Huh? See, look at the difference. Huh? Amana, Amana, Amanu. And you change it into Aminu, it becomes Amar. Are you with me? Amin, and then Amina, and then A. Minu, and what will be your isam file? No min. Now today you know how the momin noun is constructed. It is from fiel, amina, but from form four. Again, you will say bab if alun. I want you to get used to it, brother. Madina, I want to ask Sister Madina. Sister Madina, make master from a mana on the pattern of if a lun. What will you say? E, asahi, e ma nun. Sahi, is this your master? Now what happened? Where did the ya come from? Because there is a kasra here that Hamza changed into, yeah, and it became. Hmm? This is common, brother and sister. Hamza can change into wow, or Hamza can change into ya. It will only happen when the Hamza is a sukun, and before it there are different vowel signs. So here, amana, and on the pattern of if alun, huh? is this letter imanun, and now it became iman. Isn't it beautiful, brother? 
I thought this was amazing. How, you know, uh, uh, things are. And now that, alhamdulillah, we know it. So, Iman is a master. Coming from Amana, you Aminu. Okay? And Amana is to believe. And it will always be Amana, be. Amana, be. Okay? Amana, you Aminu, brothers and sisters. And then, Amin, okay? Master, Iman. Isam file, Mu'min. So, all these things, you know, now we are clear to us. And these nouns, we have been using it. But today, you learn how they were made and where are they coming from. You can trace it. Trace the nouns to its verb and to its root. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Inshallah. Let's end here. Rabbana. آتینا فی الدنیا حسنتا و فی الاخرت حسنتا و قینا عذاب النار ربنا حب لنا من ازواجینا و ذریاتینا قررت ایون و جعلنا للمتقین اماما ربنا ظلمنا انفسنا اللم تغفر لنا و ترحمنا لنکنن من الخاسرین ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت سميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت تواب